A good starting point might be to think a little bit about the differences between Moodle and Mahara. Moodle is our institutional virtual learning environment and organisationally it reflects the way that we set up and deliver our programmes in that it provides a defined area for each unit on every programme taught in the university. The unit areas in Moodle are owned by the tutor who is responsible for uploading and building all of the content and activities within it. Students are enrolled on the units that they study and in effect the tutor's content is pushed out to them. In most Moodle unit areas there is relatively limited scope for students to create and contribute to the content within the area. Most commonly students can contribute to discussion forums or submit work for formal or informal assessment activities. Although many tutors do endeavour to provide engaging and student-centred activities via Moodle, the students can easily become passive recipients of tutor-delivered content and the ownership of these activities is still primarily by the tutor. Organisationally, Mahara is very different. Uh, each user is provided with their own individual private workspace in which they can create content and collect their own content or as Mahara re refers to it, uh, artefacts. So students and tutors um, to all intents and purposes are provided with the same type of workspace and have access to the same tools and functionality. The Mahara workspace enables students to build pages using any of the content that they've created or added to Mahara as well as from a wide range of content from other online tools that may form part of their digital identity. So for example videos that they've uploaded to YouTube or photographs that they've uploaded to tools like Flickr. Pages in that respect are essentially tools that allow users to showcase their digital presence. Once the pages have been built the user can then share them using Mahara's networking tools. This can simply be sharing with a peer, another student who they've added to their Mahara network as a friend. This can enable the peer to add comments to the shared item, creating an opportunity for a dialogue to develop. In the same way students can share pages with tutors, providing a channel for feedback to be given. Mahara also enables the creation of groups, which students can join or be allocated to by tutors or administrators. Sharing pages with groups makes it available to all other members of the group, uh, again providing an opportunity for them to add comments. Um, and furthermore, items that are shared with the group by other students will be available to the student providing a mechanism the, to facilitate the development of peer networks for collaborative learning. Furthermore, users can make pages public within Mahara so that all logged in Mahara users uh, can view the page um, and, and in addition to that they can even publish them so that they're available to anybody with access to the internet. Building and sharing pages in this way can enable the student to showcase themselves in creative ways for a wide variety of audiences including their peers, tutors, prospective employers or even simply their parents. But perhaps the most important aspect of this is that Mahara workspaces are owned by the student and this places the student at the centre of their own learning. Together, Moodle and Mahara provide a complementary toolkit, each with a specific purpose. In short, Moodle provides the structure and organisation for teaching and learning activities designed by the tutors and Mahara provides a personal working space in which students can get on with the learning and showcase what they've done.